In this video we're going to look at how you can hide objects using the selection pane in PowerPoint. It's really useful for if you've got a number of objects on a slide and actually you want to amend or change one of the items that's at the back of the slide. So we've got one of our ebooks here but I actually want to make it stand out a little more. So what I'm going to do is enter a shape. In this case we're going to use a circle. So draw my circle. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's edit the circle. So I'm going to take away the line. I'm going to change the colour to red to make it more in line with our theme colours. I'm going to then send it to the back. So there you go, we've lifted the ebook already. You can see that it looks a little bit better. But if I want to edit the circle at the back, you'll see what happens if I try and click on it. Because the book's at the front, it's selecting the book. What you can do is actually uh, put the book back. You can actually send the book to the back. But if you've used PowerPoint slides before that have got a lot of items on, that can get a real pain. So what we're going to do is instead hide the book. So if you go to your home ribbon and look on the right hand side, this little option gives you selection pane. So click that and it'll bring up our selection pane. Now that shows you every item that's on the slide. So all of these items are on the slide. If there's a little eye in there, it'll be shown. So I'll click on the book, it shows me it. that's this one. Click on the eye, that'll hide it. So immediately it's hidden. I want to insert a text box. So let's go ahead and put free ebook let's just change the font here we go Futura I'm going to centralize it I'm going to move it to where I want it on the circle so let's go back into our selection pane and show the book again so there it is I want to hide it I'm just going to move this text box again so I've hidden the book still got it selected so I can just use the arrow keys to move that text so there we are. I want to put some text down here, so I'm going to hide the book again. I'm going to copy this text box. Let's move it down to the bottom here. Let's type out now. Let's go ahead and make that bold. Oh, miss the exclamation mark. Let's get that. Okay, let's bring the book up again. And I've still got the out now text highlighted. So I can use the arrow keys again to align that to make sure it's where I want it. And there you go, nice and easy. It's a lot easier than sending things to the back or moving items. All you need to do is click the eye and that will hide the relevant items depending which one you want to move while you edit one of the items at the back. And all you do to get rid of this selection pane is click on the little cross. There you go and you're back to normal. So just recap, in the home ribbon on the right hand side selection pane and that will show you everything that you need okay another really useful tip on powerpoint uh, visit our website for more thanks